This is review lesson 10, finding missing angle measurements. All right, go ahead and write these definitions down. A complementary angle are angles that measure up to 90 degrees or a right angle. Supplementary angles are angle measures that add up to 180 degrees or are a straight angle. So here in this picture, make sure you draw it, we have a supplementary angle, right? Because these two angles together make a straight angle, and a straight angle is always equal to 180 degrees. So we know the total is 180. The two parts we have to that total is 130 and x. All right? If you wanted to find the missing piece here for your total, you'd have 180 and you'd subtract 130 and you get 50 degrees. So x is equal to 50 degrees because 130 plus 50 is 180, which is that straight angle. Here we have another supplementary angle. Okay? So we're trying to find this piece. We know in a supplementary angle the total is going to be 180 degrees because it's a straight angle. That's the definition of it, right? So we have 53 plus question mark. Okay, so, so to find this missing part, this missing piece, we need to subtract to find out. We're going to have to regroup. 3 from 10 is 7. 5 from 7 is 2. So this missing piece would be 127. All right? Let's try another one. Here we have another supplementary angle. With supplementary angles, the total subtracted is 180, right? So we've got x and 38. 180 minus 38, if you subtract, we're going to regroup. 142, so x is equal to 142 degrees. Pretty easy peasy. All right, now let's look at complementary angles. Okay, a complementary angle is equal to 90 degrees. So the total here is 90. So we have two parts. We have x and 62 that get me the total amount, which is 90. So here if I take 90 and I subtract 62, I can find that missing part. Make sure you regroup. So x is equal to 28 because 28 and 62 gets me that complementary angle that is a 90 degrees. Here we have another complementary angle. Okay, so if it's a complementary angle, the total is 90 degrees, which is denoted by this box here, so we know that's correct. We don't know D, but we have C is 44. So we just subtract 44 from 90 to get that missing amount. Okay, so D is equal to 46 degrees, which makes sense because 46 and 44 equals 90. All right, um, here this one's a little bit tricky. We know that from D to C to A, that's 90 degrees, right? So we've got a supplementary angle, our supplementary angle is AB, right? AB is equal to 180, and there are three parts here. We've got 90, we've got 22, and we've got this missing part that's in the green. We'll just call that part R. All right, so we know that these are parts to our whole. So if I put 90 and 22 together, I can see what is left for me to subtract from 180 to get to R. So we've got 2 from 10 is 8, 1 from 7 is 6, so R is equal to 68. Now that also makes sense, that makes sense for two reasons. One, 90 and 22 and 68 equals 180, right? But if this is a right angle here, this has to be a right angle here too, right? So is 22 plus 68 equal to 90? Well, let's see. 6, 2, and 1, that is a 9. So that's equal to 90 degrees. So R has to be 68 for more than one reason. All right, your homework tonight is to find the missing angle measurements. Thank you for your hard work, and I will see you tomorrow.